You're listening to Jazz After Nine. My name is Neil Colligan. And, you know, it's one month till Christmas Eve. Hard to believe at this time of year that we're getting so close to the big day. And it seems appropriate that my guest this evening is Amber Epp of Trio Bembe. Trio Bembe has got a new uh, album that's coming out that is related to the holiday season called Feliz Navidad, a Latin Christmas album. Welcome to Jazz After Nine, Amber. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, no problem. We love playing your music here at uh, Jazz After Nine. Of course, your own uh, album, uh, Inside Outside, which has been a regular staple here at the station. But now, a Christmas album from Trio Bembe. How did that come about? Uh, I have to give credit, actually, to Jerry Atwell for the idea. Uh, Jerry's a musician here in the city, and I had a meeting with him a few years ago, and uh, he said, you know, you guys should really make a Christmas album, and I just kind of threw the idea away. And um, But then, uh, I don't know, this fall, I just thought, oh, I guess it's time to make the album. So I talked to the guys, and it was a very quick project. We only started in September, but we picked some songs and made some arrangements and, uh, you know, put it together as, as quickly as we could. Uh, of course, still with good quality playing and that sort of thing. And um, and now we're ready to release it. Yeah. And uh, t- speaking of the release, uh, there's going to be a CD release on December 1st at the Park Theatre? Yes. Uh, what can people expect from that? Well, we're going to play all the Christmas tunes from our album, and we're also going to play a bunch of our regular songs like Cuban salsa and that sort of thing. So people can expect some very upbeat, happy Christmas music, um, as well as some Latin music from around the world. That's kind of the music that we we play at our shows. And uh, we're also going to have, uh, since it's Christmas, we're going to have a little bake sale and a little craft sale. Uh, so if people want to get get a gift or something, they can bring that home, but it's going to be a lot of fun music, and there's room for dancing if you are so inclined. Well, and and speaking of dancing, that's one of the most, uh, you know, upfront things about this album, because it's Latin music, because there's a lot of percussion in there. This is definitely a fun little disc to to not just listen to, but perhaps even have a little dance around the room with. Absolutely. Like, Latin music, a lot of it is meant for dancing, and for sure, like, Almost all the songs on this album you could you could dance to in some way, and um, we totally promote that. Like you know, have a dance. You don't have to be good. You just have to enjoy yourself, and um, that's something that we wanted to do with the Christmas songs on this album was make them danceable, make them upbeat, and present them in a way that um, you know we already have 50 versions of somebody singing you know Silent Night or something like that as a slow ballad. So why don't we try something different? And um, so we're going to see how it, see how it turns out, and hopefully people will feel like moving a bit. Okay. Well, naturally enough, as a person who knows a fair bit of music history, I look at your title, Feliz Navidad, and the first thing that comes to mind when I look at your playlist is, where's Feliz Navidad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we put Feliz Navidad as a title because it's a Spanish phrase that people recognize, right? And uh, But the song Feliz Navidad is not on the album uh, for two reasons. One is because I think it's super cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> and the other reason is um, we had kind of a criteria for this album that we put in place was that the songs need to be part of public domain. Uh, so that means that the author needs to... Uh, have passed away at least 50 years ago, and which is not the case for Feliz Navidad. So we don't have anything against people who love the song Feliz Navidad, but we wanted to kind of expand the horizons a bit beyond the, um, you know, the typical, here's a Latin band doing Feliz Navidad, and we wanted to just, you know, alter the perspective a little bit. Yeah. Well, certainly some of your song choices here are, are really wonderful. I mean, there are songs here you would expect, they did that as a Latin number? Oh, come <laughs> all ye faithful? Yeah. Yeah. Which a lot of people, of course, associate as very high holy and all this stuff like that. But it's, it's really got this lively and fun intro. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of these songs. Um, there's some very traditional Christmas songs and songs I grew up singing and uh, you know, you hear them in four-part harmony and that sort of thing. But, you know, we just, we want everybody to be able to enjoy these songs. And, um, you know, we just, we want to have fun. That's what this music is about, having a good time and, um, you know, and enjoying the music. Well, as a person with the last name of Ep, you know, a lot of people might associate, especially here in southern Manitoba, associate that with the Mennonite tradition. 
when you were when you were growing up and uh, you were listening to music, was this the sort of thing you would see yourself singing, or is this something that just came in later? Yeah, absolutely no Latin music growing <laughs> up. Uh, I didn't hear any Latin music at all till I started going to university here in Winnipeg. Um, so you know, when I was you know ten or twelve, if someone told me I'd be singing songs in Spanish in 10, 15 years, I would have laughed my head off, you know. I, I loved singing growing up. It's a very, um, very celebrated uh, tradition with Mennonites, the singing in choirs, and I was always in school musicals and that sort of thing, but I didn't want to be an opera singer or a, a you know, it, it didn't quite grab me, but when I started hearing jazz music uh, and Latin music, I really, uh, I really got into it. I, I just loved it when I heard it, and I went to study it at the university, and I started meeting people in the city, um, that like Rodrigo Munoz, Victor Lopez, Scott Sr., these people that play Latin music, and now I'm part of their bands, and they're part of mine. Yeah, especially when we're talking about like Papa Mambo with mm -hmm. Rodrigo. Yeah, that, that that's I think that's where you first got your major encounter with the music. Yeah, I uh, when I met Rodrigo, it was at one of the jam sessions that the university runs, and. Um, He'd come by and he'd play his congas or something, and I just loved the music, so I started following him around. I got his number. I'd phone him every weekend. Are you playing anywhere tonight? Can I come? So I'd go to all his shows, and I'd ask him to teach me how to play an instrument. I'd pretend I was singing along in Spanish. I didn't really know the words, and I just, like, literally every weekend I would follow follow these guys around, and, and I started sitting in, and I started learning some of the songs, and, uh, you know, once I knew all the songs and could, you know, past playing you know some percussion instruments then he invited me to be part of the band and that was about seven or eight years ago so still going strong and i'm still loving it yeah well certainly the feedback especially with uh, trio bembe has been fantastic i mean you know i know with the performances uh, that i try to make it out when i can and i've certainly seen a lot of people who i would say are are, are serious fans of what you're doing out there and and also, you know, when uh, Trio Bembe or uh, Papa Mambo celebrated their 25th anniversary, you were part of that project as well, you know. Uh, they sent me some a uh, couple of tracks in which your voice was really strong center there. Yeah, we're, um, you know, we love Latin music. We're celebrating it in whatever way it is. The 10-piece salsa band, a three-piece band that tries to sound like a 10-piece band. Um, you know, we just, we love the music and we want to share it with people and it's something that's very feel good, you know. You you can't really be grumpy when there's Latin music around. It's something that I always find for me anyway. It lifts my spirits, and um, you know, you walk out with like a little beat in your step, and um, you know, it's just it's a very generally a very happy music, and um, we just find people really love the groove, and and we love sharing it with them. Well, certainly with this disc, uh, you know, Feliz Navidad, you're going to be lifting the Christmas spirits, as it were. Uh, a lot of people, of course, I recommend that you head to uh, the Park Theatre on December 1st. And uh, we're going to, uh, of course, end with uh, one of the tracks from the album, uh, certainly a favorite of mine, Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Uh, just give me a little setup for that one. Sure. Uh, um, well, we were looking through songs. For, uh, I had a list of songs that fit our criteria of being in the public domain, and I was surprised to see Jolly Old St. Nicholas on there. Um, so I thought, okay, let's let's take a look at it. And I found all these verses, and they're like kind of old and, you know, it, written in a very different style than you'd see some today. And we didn't quite have enough verses, so I wrote another verse you'll hear in the song um, about the things um, that we would like for Christmas. So if you listen carefully, you'll hear a bit about the band and what our wishes would be for Christmas. All right. This is uh, Amber Epp. Thank you very much for coming by. It's great to have you on the show. And, of course, don't forget uh, December 1st at uh, the Park Theatre for Trio Bembe CD release of Feliz Navidad. We'll end off tonight uh, this interview with Jolly Old St. Nicholas, courtesy of Trio Bembe. Thanks so much. Saint Nicholas, lean